everyone, it's Jennifer with DP Addiction Adventures and I am so excited because I was in a Zoom with my friend Amanda during our 24-hour uh, challenge um, for the hashtag not so scary fall party and Amanda talked about a friend of her she and her friend when they buy new washi tape they exchange a sample from the washi tape so if Amanda buys a set and her friend buys a set they then send each other samples and they double their washi tape experience and inventory and so I asked him and I was like, oh, I would love to host a washi tape swap. So we are going to try this. If you guys like it, then I hope to do it in the future throughout um, 2022 and we can swap throughout the year. So what does this mean? First, uh, you need some sort of card. Uh, Amanda recommended just a de playing card. Um, if you go on Pinterest, there's like sampler sets and, and different things that you can use, but the coating on the card allows the washi tape not to stick or ruin the stick of the washi tape when you take it off. So I have a playing card. I asked my daughter to help me find one. Um, then you need your washi tape. Now, if you only have like four or five washi tapes or even three, that's okay. We only need up to three, well, three washi tapes, not up to. You need three washi tape types. So what I, um, that's what I recommend. Okay. Two, you need to go fill out the form that's down below for the washi tape swap. It's super easy. It should only take you two minutes or less. It's basically your first and last name, your email address, and your mailing address. What I plan on doing is by, I think it said October 22nd, fill out the form. And then the weekend of the 23rd and 24th, I will match you using, um, because I can export it into Excel, I'll do a random Excel connection and I'll connect you guys. And it's not a mystery. You're both going to know that you're partners and um, you will then swap washi tapes. So if I partner with, um, let's say, Amanda, then I will have her address, she will have mine, and she will select three washi tapes, I will select three washi tapes, wrap them around this card, and then we'll mail them through the postal service. Now, there is a question on whether or not you're open to international shipping. This should be a less expensive international shipping. It will be more expensive than just USA to USA, but you're only going to be sending a note card, right? Something that says, hey, love you, great. Um, I was my husband going to work. Hi, Mr. Tim. Um, so, you know, it's up to you. And I don't know international shipping, but instead of paying a dollar or a euro or whatever your currency is, you might be paying five. Um, it's up to you if you want to do international shipping, and then I will connect people who say yes. So make sure you check that yes or no. Um, otherwise, it'll default to yes. So... I forget what number we're on, but the next thing you're going to do is once I um, match you, you're going to take your washi tape. Now, I'm looking at my washi tape. If I go to send something like this, this is super thin, this shouldn't count as one. If you're going to do this, then send a couple thin ones to kind of equal a whole washi tape. I don't have very many thin ones. So like this would equal one washi tape. I would recommend doing a normal size or a bigger size. Like I have these donuts, whoops, wrong one. Donuts, right? So what we're doing is it's for journaling, it's for framing, it's for putting it around. Uh, I'm putting these back so I can show you because I have them in color palettes. Um, it's for people to even put them around their canvas if they're a diamond painter to keep the glue from getting all that hair and stuff. Second, you're going to need three to four feet of washi tape. So like this one, I'm probably not going to have enough washi tape to do three or four feet. Whereas um, this one, 
I have plenty of washi tape, so I know I'm gonna have enough, okay? So we are going to sand three different washi tapes and each color is three to four feet. So when you get your sampler, you're gonna get nine to 12 feet of washi tape. Okay, so what, ooh, excuse me, my chair. Another thing too is pick washi tape that you would want to receive. So if you have a washi tape you never use and it's just, it's ugly to you, don't send that. This is not trying to get rid of washi tape. That's what the like free sites are for if somebody wants it. Um, also, if you have like ever moment washi tape or you have, uh, let me see here, I think I have a, um, DP with sparklers washi tape, don't send those. We're looking at helping somebody really up their game on the washi tape. Okay, so let me look. Also, keep in mind quality. So I have um, this washi tape, and it's beautiful, but I know from using it, it doesn't stick to anything. So I'm not going to send this. Again, think about the person. Okay, so... One of the washi tapes I'm gonna send, hello beautiful, it's this pink one. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna take this, take this, attach it. Now, let me get my ruler out, just a second. Okay, so my ruler, a card, a plain card, is two and a half inches and a foot is 12 inches. So for every, let's see, wrap around, you'd get five inches. So one, two, so you would need five inches, two wrap arounds is 10, three wrap arounds is 15 inches, four wrap arounds is um, 20 inches, five wraparounds, 25, six wraparounds, 30, um, seven wraparounds um, would be 35, which is roughly three feet. So I would do like seven and a half to eight wraparounds. Okay, so what do I mean by a wraparound is a full, so this would be half a wraparound. That is a full wrap around. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. So that's 40 inches right there. And if you want, I, I usually do, I mean, I'll do a half and then you can rip it off. So like, see, you're not using a ton, but this would be beautiful as a sampler, right? So let me see, so that's one. Um, I'm going to do these watermelons. These watermelons are really pretty. Um, I'm gonna do it real quick and I'll, I'll speed, speed it up here. So I'm gonna start on the back, right? And remember, you're gonna count a full wrap around. So this is, even though I started back here, I have to go around so this would be one full wrap around. See, it's it's overlaid, but it's one complete wrap around. And then I'm going to speed it up. So two, three. Four, five, six, seven. 
Okay, so see what you get right here? Get this little sampler and then I have a third one I'm gonna put down here. I'll probably do something in the green or the blue category that's kind of pretty. Let's see here. Um, this is pretty. So I'm gonna quick do that off camera and then I'll come back and show you the complete. Okay, so I have my sampler pack ready um, to be sent off and then I hope to get a sampler packet from someone as well. Again, um, try to stick with the three to four feet. We wanna make it as even as possible so someone's not getting three washi tape rolls and someone else is just getting a sampler pack. Um, so yes, I hope this is something that you guys will enjoy um, just to get uh, fill out the form uh, by the 24th, 25th of October. I will connect you guys together. Um, you're going to do your card and you're going to send it in the mail and we hope that you can mail it out in time for people to get it before the American holiday of Thanksgiving, um, which is, I believe the third or fourth Thursday in November. I always get it mixed up. Um, but then that way, uh, this will coincide with our, my upcoming diamond paint along craft along of blessings and thankfulness. So I am so excited to try this swap. I hope you guys love the idea and I can't wait to see us love on one another. Again, this would just go in a little note that says, you know, whatever you want to say, um, put a stamp on it, get it in the mail and happy, happy crafting. So until next time, be blessed. Take care. Love y'all. Bye-bye.